This presentation is a part of Audio Adventure Theater. It's a lazy, boring day around Hoss and Pfeffer's abode. They talk about stuff and how boring it is for a while. And Hoss and Pfeffer made so some remark about his days during World War II. Everyone immediately perks up and asks to hear about it. Hey, what? Oh, Hoss and Pfeffer commences! Adventure Alley Productions presents to you The Crackpot Professor, Episode 20, Never Mess with Hassenpfeffer. Starring Caleb Thiessen as Professor Hassenpfeffer and Josiah Coates as Professor Zimmerman. I was a young scientist in Germany then. Adolf Hitler had come to power. But I did not want to work for him or the Nazis. So I had written a letter to America to ask if there was some way to help them with my scientific know-how. I got a letter back from them saying that if I go to a certain location, there I will meet with an American undercover army officer. So I went, and there was an American colonel who talked to me about my work and asked for a small demonstration. Satisfied with Hoss and Pfeffer's capabilities, he tells them that he would greatly help the Allies if he would help them with designing a new kind of aircraft to transport troops. I agreed. The colonel asked him to sign a document expressing his full agreement to work for the Allies and his complete disagreement with the Nazis party. Pfeffer, it talks some about his work on the aircraft carrier, and when he had finally completed the blueprints, or drawings, whichever you prefer, he had them delivered to the colonel. And then after that, as he was walking out in the country one fine day, he stopped and listened, because he thought he heard someone. He quickly hides behind a barn. And we have a little ring around the rosy here until finally Hassenpfeffer has a rifle stuck in his back and is arrested by a Nazi officer. We now find Hassenpfeffer in a prison with other chappies. He thinks about how to escape. Several ideas come. Oh, finally, he tries to make a bomb out of a pineapple hat. Oh, very crazy, very silly stuff ensues, including eventually throwing it out the window and it explodes out there. Not so much for that. A guy comes in and says the head of the prison would like to speak to him now. with prison head. You were arrested for not complying with the Nazis, and would you not like to change your mind and help us? Uh, Cousin Pfeffer tries to give the impression that he is a mental case. Which is not too hard. Admin keeps asking him questions. Uh, but Cousin Pfeffer keeps playing insane. Woo! Finally, Admin gives up and gives orders to the prison to transfer him to a different location, to a mental hospital for the insane. When two men are starting to escort Hassan Pfeffer through the prison and out to a vehicle... The professor manages to give them the slip and ends up hiding in the closet of an empty office when two men come in. One sounds remarkably like the American colonel. Hassan Pfeffer opens the door a crack and peeks out. It is! It is the American colonel! Hassan Pfeffer listens to their conversation... Which is about him, me. And here I will explain the story. His letter never got out 
of Germany. The Nazi censors got a hold of it and then sent it to an HQ. And there they came up with the idea to use it to get some materials from Hassenpfeffer and at the same time show that he was a definite traitor and have him arrested. So what they did was they had an officer dress up and pretend to be an American colonel who writes a letter to Hassenpfeffer telling him where to meet him for instructions. There he tells the professor what they want him to work on and he gets working on it. After he is finished, though, and they are satisfied with his work, he is cornered and arrested and put in prison. Somewhere during this conversation, we switch from Hassenpfeffer's view to the colonel's. Hassenpfeffer hears all this. And then, when the one man leaves and the American colonel is all alone, Hassenpfeffer jumps out of the closet and confronts the colonel, who is very surprised. I am going to leave Germany and take you traitorous dog with me. The colonel, who is really a Gestapo agent, laughs. Ha <laughs> ha, you will never get out, and also I would never go willingly with you, Professor. That's where you are wrong. And the professor injects him with some sleeping liquid. Which he was able to make with stuff he found in the closet. And the colonel collapses. And then Hoffenpfeffer burns the blueprints for the transport plane that he invented. Which the colonel had with him, and he said earlier that he hadn't made any copies yet. And then a ward keeper comes into the room. A uh, ward keeper? I have a prisoner here who needs to be transferred. The ward and them take him to the vehicle. <laughs> and company go to the airport. And the prison wards help him rent a small plane and get the prisoner in. And then Hassenpfeffer takes off just as some prison admin comes along and is shouting... And there is some shooting. But Hassenpfeffer takes off without much trouble. Time passes a little as Hassenpfeffer narrates. And he is now over the English Channel. Suddenly, German planes appear behind them and start shooting! Hassenpfeffer does his best to outmaneuver them, but he gets surrounded! And just then the plane also runs out of fuel because a bullet has killed the oil tank, so the plane is going down! And in Charlotte! But then Hassenpfeffer sees England not far ahead, and below them, a British battleship! He gets himself and the colonel into parachutes and jumps out of the plane. They land in the water and are soon picked up by the battleship. And the German planes retreat, of course. The false American colonel was put in prison. And Hassenpfeffer stayed in England for the rest of the war. Where, by the way, Zimmerman had gone to as soon as the war started and tried to convince Hassenpfeffer to come as well. But he wanted to stay. Uh, so, that's the story. And we go back to the present and some talking and then it ends. Never Mess with Hassenpfeffer was brought to you by Adventure Alley Productions. You heard Caleb Thiessen as Professor Hassenpfeffer, Josiah Coates as Professor Zimmerman, Renee Thiessen as Miss Parrot, Reed Thiessen as Captain Cucumber, and Aaron Thiessen as the fake American Colonel. The Audio Adventure Theater theme was composed by Garrett Vandenberg, and the Crackpot Professor theme was created by Josiah Coates. And I'm Cody Robbins. This episode of The Crackpot Professor was written by Caleb Thiessen. Come back next time for episode 21, The Escape Trap. The police come barging into his house and they say he is under arrest. They throw Hassenpfeffer into his cell. He decides to try to dig his way out with the spoon. The warden comes by and opens the door and runs after Hassenpfeffer. Too late! Everyone starts chasing him. Oh, I better start running. Be sure to check out our website at audioadventuretheater.blogspot.com.